a summer evening And it sounds just like a song I want your belly In a summer feeling I don't know if I could ever go without Watermelon sugar Hello, good evening, guys. Uh, welcome to our uh, third session for this evening. So, our topic for this for this evening is about uh, repetition structures. Actually, uh, rep repetition structures are looping statements for codes. Okay, uh, let's start with the situation when you need to execute a block of code several number of times. In general, the statements are executed sequentially. So the first statement in a function is executed first, followed by the second, and so on. So programming languages provides various control structures that allow for more complicated execution paths. But the loop statement allows us to execute a statement or a group of statements multiple times and following is the general form of a loop statement in most of the programming languages. For your C sharp, it provides the following types of loop to handle looping requirements. Looping in a programming language is a way to execute a statement or a set of statements until multiple times depending on the result of the condition to be evaluated to execute statements. Therefore, the result condition should be true to execute statements within loops. Otherwise, the program will continue to execute. Okay, so that is it. Our, uh, that is uh, all about repetition structures. Our objectives for this evening is to, number one, explain the logic behind repetition structures. Number two is to design and develop appropriate algorithms with exception handling techniques. And number three, appreciate the use of try, catch, finally. Okay, the first one is the loop statement. For the loop statement, you can see here that you have a while condition supporting the conditional code. So as the arrow for the condition uh, on the diamond, it's a, it's a condition statement. A condition statement has a rather um, logical uh, value. Like for example, if the statement is true, then uh, you go to the hold block or the execution of the code. And therefore, you go back to the condition. If false, then the statement will be exited. So, ma exit siya after uh, the following statement uh, will not meet its condition. However, if the condition is true again, uh, you go to the block code or um, where you can find the execution of the program will um, relay on a loop. Okay, so the test condition in a while loop is given in the beginning of the loop and all the statements are executed till the given Boolean condition satisfies when the condition becomes false. So therefore, the control will be out of the loop for a while. And so the loop is probably the simplest and while loop simply executes the block of code as long as the condition you give is true. Otherwise, as I've said, con false siya. So... 
the program will be uh, terminated. Okay. Okay, so in your activity number six, you're given their uh, coding 106. Uh, you're given um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 lines of code. You're going to encode it and upload your answer. Provide a screenshot and upload your answer to your Google Classroom. Okay. And then the other one will be the do while loop. So for the do while loop, you can see there that there is a conditional code and then the while code. So do, and then the conditional code, and while. Meaning to say you have two options. So if you meet the condition, you go to the code block, and then set the condition. Uh, the condition is given in the diamond diagram, or the diamond shape in the diagram. If the condition is true, it's similar to, to while loop. However, uh, the precondition is given, and uh, it's not similar because um, why siya nag, ano, uh, devalue sa condition statement sa false. However, if the condition is true, you go back to the code block. And then if the condition is false, just like your while loop, it will be terminated. So the do while is the opposite. Uh, the, the opposite is true for the do loop, no? The while loop, which works like a while loop, pero in other aspects. Meaning to say, that the loop evaluates the condition after the loop has executed, which makes sure that the code block is always executed at least once. Pero, unlike a while loop, which tests the loop condition at the start of the loop, the do while loop checks its condition at the end, sa end naman siya, instead of the start. So it, it checks that the condition is after executing the statement is true. If not false, as I've said, the program will be terminated. Okay, so on activity number seven, it's coding 107, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen lines of code. So what you're going to do is to code uh, coding 107 and provide a screenshot for your answer together with the code and then upload it to your Google Classroom. So for loop statements, um, by the way, guys, this evening, um, we, have, we have actually actually um, five looping statements. However, what you're going to do for your activity is only two. So you only uh, do activity number six and activity number seven. So for loop, naman, it's a bit different, no? Um, as you can see on the diagram. It's preferred when you know how many iterations you want. Iterations means kung kapira ka bilog ang pag prompt ka statement. So either because you know the exact amount of iterations or because you have a variable containing the amount. Meaning to say, may nakaready na siya nga amount nga precondition. So it's a precondition, ano, may jandon nga value sa preconditioning. So otherwise, um, the initialization is being given before you go to the condition. Okay? Then, after that, what happens is for a loop structure to, uh, to have a repetition control, the structure that allows you to efficiently write a loop that needs to execute a specific number of times. So, may specify, may specific number of times mag-execute ang program. And like sa looping, uh, sa do while, kag sa while loop, nga makontinue, continue, continue, continue na siya kung hindi siya mag -ano. Karan guys, I will um, demonstrate uh, for you ang sa gamitan ko ang sa CMD kung paano mag ano ka looping statement okay so for loops uh, that is a, a similar functionality with different syntaxes uh, the for loop are preferred when the number of times loop statements are executed is known beforehand so there's a precondition number of loops kung kapira may increment siya guys um, makita nyo sa initialization nga for for the yun loop na sa punta na may i plus plus na dyan. So it means that there's an increment of the number of times that the looping statement will be executed. Otherwise, kung ma met na ng condition, so ma terminate ang program. Terminate means ma stop sa na. 
So for loop has similar functionality as while loop, pero with a different syntax. Syntax is, you can find the syntax in your lesson number 8 sa inyong uh, module. So there's a syntax there for then initialization, the condition, and the increment. May increment gina siya. So for sa code ninyo sa activity number 8, pero ayun na natin yung butang sa assignment ninyo. No? Sa coding 108, pwede nyo lang tawon, guys. Then, kita nyo dyan nga, uh, the for statement, for int equals 1, x less than or greater than 4, then x plus plus. So, the x plus plus is the increment, the um, x equals 1 is the precondition, and the x less than or greater than 4 is the precondition statement of how many times that iteration will continue. So, muna siya. So, for, for loop statement, no? Okay, so so much more for for loop. Um, the, uh, there is an iteration for four, which is for each. Uh, as you can see there, you have the start and then the elements and condition, uh, elements and collection. That that is um um. As you can, uh, kung magbasa ka mo guys ka program kadang ano ka flow chart, uh, you will notice that ang diamond ng refer na siya sa condition condition statement. So there are two precondition. If yes ang sabat nyo, then the S statement will be executed. So it will again go back to the elements of the collection. Mamang kot chaliwat. Kon yes man gapon. So go back to the statement and then malup lang siya. Pero kon hindi niya mamit ang condition like ang sabat niya is no. Kay binary um binary ang ano ang aba ang permi permi nga sabat yad. It's either yes or no or or is it true or false. Then the program will stop. Uh, or will be terminated. So as explained, the for statement kagina, your for loop is different in a way that its execution in its statement has a set of value on statement in multiple number of times. Now it depends on the result of the condition to be evaluated. For example, the result condition to iterate over the elements of the collection varies uh, in, a, in an array type of format. So, ang array or a list, ang array is a um, repetition of number man siya, pero uh, it also found in the looping statement. However, uh, you will notice that some preconditions for array might not be uh, what exactly is um, the value within the collection of statements. So, kung ma-confuse ka mo guys, Ang naglain lang din sa for each loop is ang anang ng pag-execute kada anang ng iterations. Kag uh, ang collection of items kag anang uh, build list types to be executed. And then the syntax is different. So the syntax is for each and then data type, variable name, and collection variable. Wala na sa mga increment, wala na sa initialization. Kag wala ng value kung kapira mag loop ang statements. For each na siya. So meaning to say, if you're dealing with numbers, you use for statement, for loop. If you're dealing with variables or numbers or iterations of numbers or iterations of variables, you go to the for each loop. So muda. Uh, actually, there's a um, very good example is ang sa Excel ninyo bila ang for statement na dyan. Ang for statement is actually nakaplay sa dang anang uh, formula. Nga, um, ano, um, there's a certain formula that you can find for each loop nga mangita ka ng value sa table or sa ano ka Excel. Pero ang mag, he, mag initialize ka mga variable, like for example, kung mag count ka mo, uh, pira ka bilog ang apples, pira ka bilog ang grapes, pira ka bilog ang oranges. Uh, you don't need nga isa-isa ko na siya kaisip, pero kung butangan mo ka for loop, kag i-refer mo siya sa table within sa Excel, sa cells ka Excel, you will notice that automatically ang isa ka cell na makita, butangan mo lang sa formula nga for, tanado lang maisip kung pira ka bilog ang grape, o pira ka bilog ang oranges, pira ka bilog ang apples. Or, uh, na, oh. so if tatlo abi kung nakuprutas, then pangitaon niya kung pera ka bilog. All you have to do is to um, input or encode as many uh, fruits as possible. Na, ang ngara na bila. So kay ang ngara niya grape fix na siya sa isa lang ka fruta, ah, ka, kadang ano nga gina-refer mo ang values ng grape, which is grape na fruit. Kaya, uh, the same man sa apple. Kaya ang apple, uh, like for example, um, manan mo doon kung magamba kita apple, um, may imagine mo kung ano tsura ka apple, di ba? 
So, mamanaan nyo man, uh, ang spelling ka Apple is fixed nga sa A-P-P-L-E. So, kung ibutang mong spelling niya sa cells, Excel. Sa Excel bala guys? Microsoft Excel. Oh. Na, so, that is a very good example lang. Ah, na, uh, uh, one way of four statement nga ginatawag. Uh, more kadasa dang ano na ito nga tapos. Ikon makabot do ka mo sa quantitative methods. Kaya ito doon takamang kung paano da i-program. Okay. So, in the meantime, ang code nyo makita ninyo dyan sa 4H is nakita ninyo sa activity number, ah, sa lesson number 9. Sa activity 9, supposedly. Pero ang gin, ano ko lang, as I promised you, every, ano, at least two lang gin ka-activity ang i-perform ninyo. So, all is good. And then the last one, the last one will be your recursion. So as you can see, the recursion that you can see is going to deal with initialization of recursion within the integer number, and there's a counting return value for recursion. So it's decreasing. In the center, you can see the factorial of recursion. The factorial is how many times that the looping statement will be evaluated based upon value of n or, uh, or or the given value. So in this case, n uh, multiplied by f n n minus 1. So the, like for example, if the value of your n is 5, then ang f of n, uh, just like n minus 1 is 4, factorial of 5. So I multiply mo siya, ang gwa na is 2 times 2, uh, 2 times 1 equals 2. So factorial niya. Pero yung final result would be 120. Kaya gin multiply mo ang 5 sa 24. Ang the other diagram that you can see on the right side is the tree, binary search tree method. Pero it is a form of recursion. Kaya doon kaakoy ang sura niya guys. So, pero binary ano siya, value. Ang binary value niya is nakatunga siya sa duwa ka. Value which is true or false. So mundigwa na. Okay, I think that is it for this evening, no? Ad Astra Sapiensham to to the stars through knowledge. Okay, so I think that is the end of my presentation, guys. I want you to ask questions, na. Okay, do you have any questions, guys, about our activity for this week? Okay, just refer to your ano uh, to your uh, module because. Um, Daya na siya makita. Okay, so uh, what happens to your to the half of the class? I think wala sila access sa, uh, hindi ko pwede din ma-access ang internet or ang ano sa classroom. I think ang, please tell me if some of your classmates cannot access the internet yet because I'm going to ano, refer it sa inyo nga Google Classroom kung sino yung hindi pwede tawaan because I have printed at least 15 modules already pero wala ako pa siya na tapos ka kadang ano ka process okay, that will be until your midterm midterm until your midterm so um, please uh, ano um, i will inform them naman because uh, the only problem is some of your classmates nga gin taonin yung uh, number pag pa-enroll ninyo wala gagana guys kan tawagan ko either nga why ka why ka mo hindi ko kamo makita lain ang nagagamit or may dyan man gani nga mamangkot nyo sin udayo sin u sin udaya mangkotan nyo it polite guys i eh, pa sabto nyo anay antis kamo mag ano kay basic in importante blay tawag yo kanin nyo ang um, sometimes sabi na follow up na mga teachers ang inyong uh, uh, kung may problema sa pag online class naton or may problema kita sa ng connectivity or sa iban pa nga ano. So paano naman mamanaan kung hindi nyo kami ma hindi nyo pagsabton ang pamang ano naman ang tawag or ang inquiry kanin mo. So sometimes through text man pero daw laka lang gid nga gaano ka text kay in my case I'm very busy so I don't have time to text to anybody and it's much better if I call you directly. So please, if you, I called you on my number, that is 0946-200-6763, you can see that also in your module. Sata. The same with the, my email address, ayansugatan at iscoff.edu.ph. So you can email me or something, or you, you talk to me in the 
group chat. So sometimes um pwede man nga idirekta nyo ko na kung kunuya ka mo i-post sa ano, sa chat box sa dang Google at uh, sa dang ano natin sa GC so that I can answer to your query no na. Basta ano lang please guys a bit thoughtful na lang abi uh, of your problem regarding our classes so that I can see to it that I can give you a proper the proper treatment like I can give you a module or whatever. Okay? Ang ginapangayo ko lang gid if you can access the Google Classroom. Um, please tuyan lang kamo lang to ka module nyo guys say hey, para nga ang iba nga module nga hindi gid nga itaw ko sa classmate ninyo ang hindi gid ta nabala ka internet do no hindi ta naka online gid ang ang tuya gid ta nang balay sa putok-putokan ka bukid or white signal gid ta na to kananda so ang kaluluoy gid bala nga hindi ano pero call guys uh, hindi na pangayo ko man hindi ka mo magbutig sa ginikanan niyo ay eh, base bala hambalan i reason nyo kananda nga ga online cl class kita tapos kunin ka mo ga prang lagaw Ah uh, palihog hindi niyo paghimuon da ha. It's it's better to be safe to, than to be sorry man anyo man yung panahon do karon kag nga nagasigi pa ilam kaninyo da yan kun sigi pa ya covid pa kana sa kanamon sigi pa ya covid. So please be careful if you go to places you bring with you alcohol and face mask and face shield if you have. So may dayan Kay medyo delikado pa, why pa kita at bakuna bala? So please, ang mabatian ninyo sa radio or sa TV or sa news na ma-vaccine or ano, ang frontliners pa lang yung una nanda ka-vaccine. Mura pa ka naton. So hindi pa kita at safe. Um, but it's not the hindrance that uh, we can hold ano uh, online classes. Just, just like this one, thank you for... Uh, joining me tonight kay ti, nang endeavor lang kamo guys once once a uh, one hour malang per week ya um, ano naton so gamay gamay lang ang sacrifice gid man an ko gahagol man kamo ka load ninyo pero ti instead nga ipliti ninyo guys i load na ninyo eh, kag um, ma ano kita anay gamay lang gid ni sacrifice okay so go back to our topic which is repetitive structures so the repetition structures is found not only in C sharp uh, but in all other uh, aspects of programming languages, kay duro yung mga lingwahe ka program and duro ng application na pwede nga ma-provide ninyo sa ano naton or ma-provide ka ninyo. Pero uh, anada ninyo yun ang uh, kagalingo ninyo mag-program sa uh, C-sharp na language kay because uh, what will happen is in your desktop um, desktop programming ata, desktop uh, applications development no ma develop kita ka mga apps nga gamit ang C# -sharp. so duwa da actually may android studio pagid ang isa pero ang android studio is most likely sa mobile app ninyo ng application um hindi duguro ako kada katudlo kada mobile apps ya mobile apps naton guro si sir nyo Dave ya matudlo kada ang akon nga sunod nga naton nga matun-an sa next year will be ang um, desktop applications. So the desktop applications requires an intensive programming knowledge on C sharp. Kay you have to but, pero lain ang ginagamit instead ka ano gagamit ta ka console. Kag uh, ano pa ganito ya. Yeah? Um may isa ka feature pa nga ginagamit. So mo da nga ginabutang ninyo application niyo sa lain-lain nga platform sa laptop or sa mobile. So, ga mo kadaya guys, ya type ka trabaho nga nagahulat ka ninyo. Uh, it's either you develop a program as freelancer or you go to a company on a software company. So, the future is, ano, um, uh, your future depende man sa ilig ninyo. Uh, sometimes, kabroad, abi ka IT nga field. Sometimes, uh, pwede ka ka programmer. Pw sometimes, pwede ka ka obra sa office or probably kung may talent ka sa mga pangay ad sa hardware eh. so you can concentrate on the hardware servicing or sa software man depende sa choice ninyo um, our specialization for your elective subject is um, software development fundamentals so ang itas ninyo is IT area of specialization ang track ninyo ngayon buol is software development so, amo lang dagin, amo mandagan niya gina-offer natin dia. 
So that's why um, we are contemplating on developing you guys as to become a programmer of the future. So one of that is to learn uh, programming languages, your Java, your Python, and this one, the C Sharp. The concentration for C Sharp, C++, C Sharp, is on Visual Studio, and it is, it is developed by Microsoft. And that is my specialty. I'm more pro on the programming for Microsoft products, Ma Microsoft um, based ng mga features. So, ang iba niyo mga teachers, the, the specialized in the uh, field, like sa um, Python or sa Java. So, this one, it's very extensive and it's become timely just because. Uh, you, Microsoft is the widest disseminating and you know, of your desktop computers, including your uh, um, laptops. So most of the computers in the world are running on Windows. Okay. So, pero um, you, you also have to learn other operating system, other applications running on operating system, and virtualization also. Okay. So future, uh, mag uh, mag on ka mo ka computer ninyo. Hindi na kamo magran ka Windows. Ah, sa cloud na lang kamo gaparan ka operating system. Pareho ka Chromebook bala. Ang Chromebook, uh, instead ka ano, Google ya uh, ang uh, ano na uh, operating system. It's not Windows. Pero uh, I have a hard time doing it siguro. Uh, I don't know if you're ready for this. Siguro mas start siguro mga high school. Ang mga guro ya dapat nandan na tunan. Para nga <coughs> pag-abot na sa kolyo, may choice nandan kung ano ya pwede na nga anon um specialize okay so repetition structures is looping statements lang ang lima lang gid yung ano ko guys actually may mga dayan pag yun, ang array ninyo kag ang ano, ano pa ganito uh, array kag iban pa um magam ang simple explanation ko lang ka looping statements kag ang array type nga programs kun kalantaw ka mo ka matrix nga movie ang kay Keanu Reeves kung makita ninyo ang scene nga tong naga uh, naga naga do nag nagsulod sa nasa isa ka kwarto nga duro at mga armas nga tong gadroble siya ga replicate bala kung makita niyo daw mirror to siya no kay kung ma notice ninyo guys uh, kung may espiho ka mo tapos nga hanggod la sa parador niyo tapos may diyan ka mong espiho nga gamay nga sa lima niyo guys nga mo lakang god oh ito on mo da ang espiho sa dang espiho nga piyak daw paanon mo siya, makita ninyo nag-reflect, kapira ka mag-reflect ang images sa dia, sa dayan, including ang itsura mo. So, ang mamandang effect katong sa Matrix, katong na movie, kay ang, ang ano na kato, ang concept sa computer science is a repetition. So, repetition of things that is looping, looping statement. Kag visual array na to, visual array. So, kung ma, ma, ano ninyo, I think may mga comparisons na dyan, no? If you're going to go deeper, uh, reviewhan ninyo bila yung Matrix ng movie. And then, sa pangitaan ninyo, kayo may mga amok ka na dyan. Kaya ang director na kato, mga computer scientist, si Kubrick, ang dua ka Kubrick brothers, mga computer science majors na sila. So, daw gin ang gin ng dabla sa computer, la, computer languages, computer concepts, ang movie nga to. The Matrix. The my part one, part two, as as part four, bila na ang Matrix mo. The movie. Anyway, so in sang again, himo ko siyang analogy sa ano naton sa lesson because the they are similar to our to looping statements. So they are they are similar to looping variations. So ang first niyo nga ano lesson is about ang while statement. While statement is either true or false malang or yes or no okay, binary statements requires um, answers either yes or no or logical value of logical value it means to say that you only have two answers however there are certain programming types that requires more than two answers just like paano may muon nga while statement man siya pero may isa pa ka value nga condition or precondition so that means to say nga uh, ang do while statement is an iteration of your while statement. It only depicts the given value just because you need an uh, precondition that needs to be executed. So the may ka mo guys, the guide ninyo will be your uh, diagram. 
on your um, module. So you can see there also the arrow. So I hope that you uh, know you're reading your modules, huh? not only the, um, the activities that you're going to perform, because you are required to perform an activity. Pero um, you need to com com um, you need to study, no? The you you need to read first, bustahon, and then if you cannot understand, uh, you, it's either you ask questions or you go to Google and Google the solution, the answer. Kay dyan yung malang makita, no? Kag, ano, basa malang guys yung solution, no? Sa ano na nyo. Pero kung hindi ka mo magpadalming or you don't want to um, to study the concepts, just go to the activity and perform the activity. It's all good. Pero I mind you guys na sa tulad, okay pa da, kay puro program, yung program kita. Pero sa mga, I think, after ka midterm, um, I will give you an activity which doesn't require you to program. So maybe um, I will require you to perform something and evaluate the result or give the answer. So how can you uh, go to the answer when in fact you still have to perform? So prerequisite na sila. Meaning to say, sunod, paano nyo i-butang yung answer kung hindi nyo na ipag-testingan or i-perform? Okay? So, uh, uh, no problem with the programming because the sample of the activity is found in your module. But sometimes, uh, you may found uh, a different ano, result. Just like may isa ka mukha, ano nga sala, hindi na siya sala. May dyan lang ka mo siguro nalipatan ngayon mo on. Or probably lain ang aspect kapag ano ninyo. Or uh, lain ang IDE nga ginagamit. Or lain ang ano ninyo. Hindi ko ka mo guys, sabi mas supervise mo. Kaya nga isa-isa get kay tungod na bawal face to face ko naton but um kun hindi lang kita uh, ano kun face to face lang kun nag uh, we're doing the laboratory uh, the usual laboratory uh, activities i think i can teach you uh, how will you do things about it but in the meantime you just make use of any ide that is available so the list of IDE, I think it's found on your module, man. And there are uh, suggestions of what type of IDE that you're going to use. Pero most likely, um, may dyan lumang ka mo ganit nga nang ginagamit sa cellphone yun yung mag-code, kag mag ka any programming languages. So there's no problem. You can still perform it. Basta ano lang yun, uh, kamo lang yun nag-obra, kaya yun ano ninyo. Okay, guys? Okay, so are there any any problem regarding the activities? Some, so uh, did you pass already your activity one and two, or um, three and four also? Then ako sir. Mm -mm. Na nabalik ko duman kaniya yah ano di ba? Your scores niyo. All your scores is recorded on. So how was the experience sa Google Classroom? Guys, sa Google Classroom nyo lang i-upload yung answers nyo, ha? Kagda yun, tuya man ka mo buol ka module ninyo para centralized. Kagda yun, yung grade nyo automatically ma-generate. No need for you to to ano to wait. And then, um, pwede ninyo makip track ang grades ninyo by your activities. So, ang grading system natin, you can see there in the syllabus man. Ha? You download the syllabus sa Google Classroom. Kaya ito yung grading system natin. Okay. Um, hanggod yung puntos sa activity kag sa major exam. So, those are the two two, ano guys, two fields na ano natin. Supposedly, I'm going to give you um, one, uh, one to ten na, na item sa na quiz, na short quiz every chapter. Pero that, that is very tiring na. Coding, sir? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, multiple choice. Okay. Pero oh, wala na lang. <laughs> Tingbon ko doon lang, guys, sa midterm exam ninyo. Okay lang? Okay, sir. Oo. Uh, don't worry because your, uh, your, your midterm exam and your final exam is multiple choices, man. Multiple choice and datanan. You don't need to, to program or to okay. ano, just read the modules. So, uh, all the items that is found on the examination are there is a module ninyo. 
So at least mabasa per week kung may bago ka mong module. Basahan nyo lang, guys. Basahan nyo, kag-incendion, kag-encode. Na. Mura siya. Uh, oo. E, da yun, ito yaman niya grade niyo guys, no? Na, na just na, ano, na return ko doon yung grade niyo. Na baton mo doon, Imo. Na ang ano course? Hindi, ang, di ba, gapasa ka mo sa Google Classroom, ka-activity. Oh, sir. Then, kung, kung machikan ko na siya, di ba, gabalik ka ninyo ang scores niyo, kontra. Oo. Oh, oh, oh. Na, oo oh, na. So, automatically, ang scores niyo, gabalik ka ninyo, pagkatapos naka-record siya, automatically ka na kon. Ah, okay. Sa tanan-tanan nga, -tanan, after, yes? Tapos ko naman, sir, ang, ano, sir, ang activity 5 kag 6. As, tanda? 6 and 7. Ah, ang tulad ng activity? Yes, sir. Oo, oh, pero hindi ko pa na ma-checkan to. Sa Saturday ko pa na uh, ah, okay, okay. checkan. Oo, oh, oh, Saturday or Sunday, kay um, ginahulat ko pa yung classmates ninyo nga magpasa. Okay, sir. Some, sometimes, sabi, um, kundi yung deadline natin is Friday. Monday ko ginapost ang ano mo, ang inyong modules. Pero um, some of you, Uh, gapasa after doon, mga Saturday or Sunday man. So, ginahulat ko pag yun. That's why ang late kung kisa, ah, ginaconsider ko doon lang, guys. Pero hindi ka mo mag-late-late na yun. Kaya kung ma-late-late na ka mo, hindi ko na ma-chikan. Ay, Mark, nagitin yung late. Like, for example, do two weeks, lukang mo nga late or ano. Ay, depende pa da. Ah. Kaya, for example, um, ang iba na, BY man ka buol ka module, so, muda yung problema. Yeah, may mo ko lang kada para kananda guys is I will may nag-prepare ko to ka printed material para sa bilog ng midterm. Pero why ko pa siya ma, ma ano matapos. So maybe tomorrow I can finish it and then uh, mapabulig lang ko sa balay mag-repackage. Okay daw karaw ay manda nga puro papel itaw kanin yun daw hindi ko nami. Ang, ang nami bala tsura na daw mapuslan yung man bala. Daw libro bala tsura na ako. Before ko siya ihatag sa mga classmate ninyo, hindi gid ka online. Okay. Uh, ang ano, mo lang dayon na pangayo kaninyo guys ha. Okay, limited man be uh, resources namon. Unlike sa DepEd or sa ano, may mga gadonate na kaban paper kanang dahil ano. Kanamon sa dia kanaton di wala tanat may donate. <laughs> wala tanat may ga ano. So, gipangayo lang gid ko gamay ninyo pag insindi. Um, ihatag ka lang dang mga module nga dang ano git sa mga nagakinanglan kaninyo. Kamo tanan nga di Sinoy B, maka-online kamo guys. Makita man ninyo, may ganay kamo hay pag napasa ninyo sa Google Classroom yung dang activity naton, ma ang grade nyo automatically mabaton nyo. So anda anda gani dapat checkan pa namon da it ano git. Kay ang proseso sa eh, ang hindi guro ka access sa Google Classroom, anang activity, ibutang na sa flash drive, kag ipacheck ka na ako. Kinanglan, isa-isa ko na ka-check gid sa flash drive na. Okay, imagine yung activity nga duro-duro. Unlike nga kung mag-Google Classroom ka na lang, automatically, guys, I can check your work. There's no problem. You don't need to go to school to get your module. Uh, You don't need to go, ano, to go to school para nga ipasa yan ang ano nyo. So, it's all good. All you have to do is to tell me, Sir, napasa ko doon. Para makonfirm ko, nakapasa ka good man. Or to yan doon sa ano nyo, na-return ko doon yan ang ano nyo. Pag sa before midterm, uh, what will happen is all your activity or your activity nga naka-record, I will download the spreadsheet and then makita ko kung sino yung why, kung sino yung nagapasa. Okay, so that's it. That's how we do things. Okay lang ito kung... Okay lang ito kung white signal. Kaya di ba ma-open mo man sa Google Classroom kung kisa ay activity na ito. Basta ipasa lang yan. Ano mo, yan ang activity. O kung ay tanat problema. Mas kanin, ano, nandiyan ko mada kung hindi ka mo ka-attend sa, ano, sa online na ito ng klase. Basta na-access nyo lang yung Google Classroom na ito. Kag mahimo mo lang yung activity. Kag makapasa ka. Sa activity ninyo. Okay, okay. Okay, okay to ha. Hindi lang ka mag-stricto gud sa pasahay ha. Naintindihan ko man yung sitwasyon ninyo. That's why okay, nga ginakulat pa ka mo guys. And, and, oh, 
That's why nga ginahulat ka mo guys as ta sa mga pinaka-adlaw pa before ko chika niya o brani niyo. Or sometimes kung late mo niya, nga ginakonsider ko lang. Yes, Mike? Na-late ko to, sir. Na-late ko, sir, sa 103 kasi 104, sir. Bay, nakapasa doon. Wait, problema. Doon, nakapasa doon. Ipasa lang, liwat. Kung, ipasa lang, tingin oh. mo kung ano, wait, problema to. Hmm. Oo, oh, napasa ko na, sir. Oo, oh, okay man, okay man. I-check ko lang, liwat. Check ko lang, liwat. Oh. Thank you, good, sir. Check ko lang. Oo. Pero, hindi ko na ma-check to lahat. Sa ano ko pa na, si Kan, liwat. Uh, mga midterm, mga mid, before ka midterm to, or midterm na, good. Kay Tuya man na to, hindi ito madura. Ipasa nyo lang yun. Okay. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Oh, oh, welcome. Kinalan mo na ito mag-flexible mag sa dang ano ka. Ano. Insinyahan ko guys sa situation ninyo. Ti, uh, why problema? Basta mag-prank ka lang kamo bila. Uh, all you have to do is to tell me lang so that I can adjust man some things that you, uh, ano, regarding our our regarding our ano our subject um the things that we do um during um sa subject natin okay some more concerns guys some more concerns no more concerns regarding the activity or the ano okay sometimes hindi ta kamo masabat ka query ninyo ha don't lose hope lang maybe uh, out of ako duman ya white signal or ano or nagauran pareho ka do karon nagauran do so insinyo nyo man ako guys ha? like for example hindi ka mo masabat lagi or nagadali ka mo or ano palihog lang uh, maybe there are things nga hindi ko ma control nga ginahimo ko ay bukol lang it ka mo ya klase ko guys may klase man ako sa ibang nga ano nga um nga IT students or other years may klase man ko sa third year kag sa um, second year so sometimes um hindi ko why man sa gina neglect, neglect ko ang query ninyo pero uh, sometimes hindi ko dayon masabat bala pero rest assured i can i will read your messages then i can reply with your with a no with a with a valid ano siguro um what's this valid um things na acceptable man para kaninyo eh. Na. Okay. So, I think that is it for the, this evening. Uh, um, please ask questions pa. May questions pa, guys? Wala na, sir. Wala na, sir. Okay na, sir. Okay guys, uh, you may jot down your attendance on our text box. So make sure to jot down your attendance. Isa lang, isa lang kabeses. Okay, si Jessa may uh, pinakauna. <laughs> si Jessa yung una nag-attendance. Uh -oh. Yes, ah. Uh, um, si Yvette, Dennis. Okay, guys. Then after you jot down your attendance, you can go now. Or um, you can stay. Or we can still talk, um, whatever things, you know, before we can close the, you know, the recording. So I'm going to close the recording if ever you have ano, na, uh, finished uh, jotting down your attendance. Na. So thank you, thank you so much for, uh, for your attending the session for this evening. You can still see the, the replay of this um, video in our YouTube. I will post the link in our uh, group chat. Uh, so please tell your classmates nga why ka attend. Nga they can see the session there. All right? Thank you, sir. You're welcome. You're welcome. You, can, you may go now. Uh, if you ever you jot down your attendance already, you can actually log off na. So thank you, man, for attending. Uh, please do tell your classmates, ha. Huh? And please, please, uh, I know, tell them also that um, I'm printing the module, man. If they want to have a module, ang ang balan yung ang classmate yung gitna wara gitna nag attend, ha. Huh? Or hindi gitka access ka ano sa internet. Paliyog lang. Okay, thank you, thank you, guys, and good evening. 
Shout out dyan sa balay ninyo, sa mga ginagkanan nyo nga nagpamati. Shout out man sa... Or may, kamo, may shout out ka mo guys. Gusto, basta gusto nyo mag-greet sa mga classmates nyo. Or sa mga girlfriends nyo, sa mga boyfriends nyo. May greetings. Okay, sige. I'm... Okay, thank you, Danel, Faith. Okay, thank you, Jaira. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, John Paul. Thank you, Lester. Oh, thank, you, sir. Thank, thank you, sir. Good evening. Good evening, Paul. Thank you, Ben. Thank you, Lester. Good evening. Thank you. Bye-bye, guys.